Morning guys, I want to do a video to explain how you can uh, talk to a child about their brain. Right, so this is all about the three R's. This is all about understanding how we can um, respond to emotional triggers, reflect on them, reframe them. You know, that kind of uh, process needs to start with understanding how the brain works. So this is my brain. <laughs> um, so this is the front part of the brain. So this is the thinking part of the brain. As a teacher, this is the part of the brain we all want to reach because this is where new learning comes from. Now, if you're able to reach this part of the brain, wonderful things can happen. So you've got, um, I'm going to too much detail about the, the eight C's of self, but it's all about connecting um, with other people. So I've got my family. Um, it's about calmness. So I've drawn for me, calmness is the beach. Um, it's going to forests, walks, you know, it's what do these things mean to me? What is clarity to me? You know, what is clarity of thought? What is um, seeing things in reality? You know, not in um, sort of in a trigger viewpoint. It's what to me is a clear view of the world. You know, I know this is hard com context, but it depends on the child that you're talking to. So what is uh, what is the world to them? You know, simple as that. What is life to them? Um, so I've got creativity because I like to paint, uh, confidence. Um, so I've put here, I mean, it links with uh, courage as well. But I went on the London Eye for those that watched my webinar, you know how difficult that was. <laughs> um compassion you know it's about self-love and who you love in your family how you love yourself curiosity about learning new things so I've got here my laptop um because that's just about how I learn um it might be books it might be for other children it might be uh you know the kind of growth mindset of trying something new you know having a go how did it go you know what problems did you find what how did you learn from them that kind of part um, I like my food <laughs> so you know I put things in that make me happy who who am I if I was to look at myself as an individual with clear eyes you know who is that person so that's what you'd want the child to do now <laughs> you've got the other parts so this part here is your brain stem so I've put that close to the bottom of your brain, uh, which it is, and it is the part of the brain that's triggered. So this is the first part, the response, the um, the trigger part, the fight, flight and freeze part. Now I've put me running. All right. So I am my trigger. If it goes off, I am a voider. <laughs> uh, you're going to know lots about me by the end of this, but I... Um, when it comes to fight, flight and freeze, I will avoid, I kind of um, put it off, put it in my box and I'll do it tomorrow, <laughs> put it on my list and I'll do that at the end. You know, it's that kind of what, and it's about for the child understanding that they can be triggered. And we'll talk about the emotional scale in a minute, but what, what triggers them? What is it? What, what do they do? Um, and it's important that they know what their go-to is because then well, I don't want to talk about it too much now but that it's, it's about giving them this in a healthy way so I'm an avoider so what do I need to do if my trigger point is uh, running then my healthy response is to take up jogging you know that's ultimately it it's taking up other things um, as a hobby that my biological response wants to do now, this is your feeling part, the limbic system. It's obviously over here a little bit. You know, this isn't um, too exact. I just wanted to break the brain up into three parts. So this is your emotional part. This is the driving seat of your emotions. And it will make this one do whatever uh, based on what it sees coming through the nervous system. So this is all the nervous system, all the different colours coming through. And... I've got the scale here, uh, so you've got your calm, 
you're excited, you're wobbly, you're hot, you're cold. So this is the one that we all want to achieve. And that then gets all the information into this bit here. When you're calm, you can access that part of the brain and all of these wonderful things that um, we all want to achieve in life um, can be achieved because our brain allows it. Yellow. So this is your excited. So I had to think of something that makes me excited or nervous. Uh, so it's public speaking makes me nervous. This makes me nervous doing these sorts of things. But, you know, I'm not completely dysregulated. I'm doing it. You know, if I'd have been triggered too much going up the scale, I wouldn't have done it. So this is my avoidance. Wobbly. So it's understanding what makes you wobbly, what makes you avoidant. Child would put it here. Hot. Um, I mean, I just put a broken heart. I was trying to think what, you know, anger, frustration, you know, it upsets you, doesn't it? It sort of, it does make you feel that abandonment, you know. I don't know what a child might put on here. Um, they may never have felt angry and frustrated, but I think the purpose of, of this exercise is for children that do. And I put cold here. Um, so this, uh, I put as death, you know, a death of a pet maybe, or a person would make you feel really sad, um, possibly depressed. Again, let's hope the children aren't ever in that state of emotion, but it is important that we um, allow them to talk about it. So this is uh, an idea for you to do, to talk about different parts of the brain. Um, like I say, I will make one for younger children and also in a different way of doing it through sand tray or uh, stones you can do um, artwork on stones and they can represent different parts of the brain so that's my next one all right i hope you enjoyed this take care stay safe